Hello, friends and foes, fays and fiends, and welcome back to Quests and Chaos. You are here for the second half, the finale half, of our uh, Mayhem at the Museum portion of the Merkmire Malevolence. We are playing through Keys from the Golden Vault. We are in the middle of a heist. This crew of not yet felonious individuals uh, has infiltrated oh, I the... don't know about that <laughs> <laughs> not yet in this episode felonious um, well I, actually I don't know Vlad's on the edge here um, <laughs> but anyway our uh, our group of uh, of uh, hired hands has infiltrated the gala at the Varkenheim Museum of Natural History in an attempt to steal the uh, Merkmeyer gem which they have been told is in fact not a gem at all, but the egg of some unknown eldritch horror set to hatch at midnight and unleash unknown terrors upon the world. Maybe we think. Um, currently they are at the gala. Uh, the museum proper is beginning to close while the gala ramps up. They have started to assess the area in which the stone is being held. And uh, Vlad, our totally normal human member of the team uh, has walked up to our most innocuous and nervous security guard, uh, pointed out that perhaps that 10 year old, that very sketchy 10 year old has placed a lollipop on the pedestal of the stone and in a frenzied panic, our poor security guard desperate to not let the curator find out that he slacked on his duty and allowed a child to potentially damage the stone, has pulled the fire alarm to try to clear the room so that he can remedy the damage. You are all in this room. Uh, uh, Risha, you are standing with the curator, having been accepted into the circle of sycophants to whom she is preaching. Uh, Sloane, you have been chatting up uh, this very elegant woman, or believes herself to be an elegant woman, in this feathery dress, talking all about gems and wealth and all the things that rich people talk about, how good the canapes are. Uh, Stuart, you have been making the rounds of the room, assessing things, checking in with Clark, keeping an eye on security, and all of a sudden, the klaxons go off. A magical mouth appears in the ceiling corner saying, please remain calm and proceed to your nearest exit. In the event of an actual emergency, you will be notified. Please, you know, uh, just full announcements as uh, every light in the building turns to red and begins strobing. Uh, in the vein of fancy galas where there has perhaps been a little bit too much champagne and also just not enough common sense to go around in the first place, um, about half the room immediately starts fleeing as soon as this hour alarm activates, um, <laughs> causing, as you might expect, a little bit of a bottleneck at <laughs> the uh, singular entrance into the gallery. Um, but everyone very quickly congregates toward that side of the room. Um, you see the couple of other security guards that have sort of been floating around in here um, immediately kind of run over there and start kind of like lining everyone up and ushering them out. And you can hear shouting coming from the other side, probably other guards coming in to try to like fl help the flow on the other side of things. Vlad, as this went off, you of course went invisible. Um, what is everyone doing in this moment as this chaos begins? <laughs> before, I want to, before the other guards get in here, I want to sort of like um, extricate myself from this group and sort of... Oh, the second like, this goes off, she starts shrieking and like grabs her husband and grabs the child and pushing them toward in that way of they're expecting, she's expecting them to drag her to the exit. <laughs> okay. You can easily just fade out of it. Great, awesome. And then as I as I kind of roll back when I when I when the guards move toward the crowd to sort of usher them out, I'm going to cast from the ring of spell storing dispel magic on the on the egg transmutation thing area over there. Like on the on the pedestal itself. You know, not 
the suggested use of that based on this module, but very smart. I'm just gonna double check. Uh, yeah. Okay, you cast uh, Dispel Magic on the pedestal. Okay, that's, that's it, I just cast it. Yeah. Okay, cool, awesome. Again, there was nothing visibly like magical about this or whatever, but you assume whatever magical effect or content it has is now gone. That's how the spell works. That's uh, what I do. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna immediately like look at the curator and see what, what her response to all of this is. Uh, she immediately like, she like freezes, immediately like looks over to the stone and then immediately like looks to the people. Um, but her whole like entourage kind of immediately starts like sweeping and they almost like form rank around her. Like they're very like, you know, like worried about protecting her. Um, give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, 19. 19. Uh, you get the impression that she does not necessarily want them to help her with this. Um, but she also, there is that sense of propriety where she can't just tell everyone to off and leave her alone. Hmm. So she's sort of letting them like protectively usher her toward the exit, but she definitely looks like she is trying to figure out like, where did the alarm, like the wheels are turning, like where did the alarm activate from? Uh, uh, what's going on? Is it in this room? Is it somewhere else? Um, you also see that um, she's been standing and she's sort of been doing that thing where she's kind of got like the one arm kind of behind her back. She's gesturing with her hand. Like, it seems like it's just kind of her neutral default. Like I run a museum and I lecture sort of pose. Sure. But as this sort of happens, you see her, her posture shift and you notice that the arm that's been behind her back, um, she's holding like a clutch purse. Um, and you definitely see that she seems to be sort of kind of maneuvering that, like she's trying to maybe like get it to where she can sort of like open it or get into it, but without anyone really paying attention to it. There's a lot of like misdirect with like talking to everybody and reassuring hand and then trying to like manipulate the clutch. Am I able, because I'm, I'm size small, am I able to like worm my way into this this group and possibly get a hand on? You were kind of in the circle. So if you want to have just kind of like shoot into the circle, mm -hmm. you could totally be there. Um, if you want to try to get it, it's going to be a challenge because she does have hands on it. Yeah. So. I, mm. I want to see if, if if I can do like that, get uh, uh, make the panic a little bit more, and make it so that she has to start focusing outward more on her followers to keep them from crushing each other, uh, okay. and like draw her attention away from the clutch so I can get a hand on it. Okay, how would you like to do that? Um, hmm, something that lets me use deception. <laughs> Talking about felonious, if you call fire, I use yeah, I, fire I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say, if you felony. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I, I will be like, oh my goodness, there's a fire, a fire in here, and just like start like nipping around people's feet. Okay. Uh, it's not really, like, the fire alarm's already going off, so mm -hmm. shouting fire is not really going to inherently increase the sure, panic, sure. but uh, give me a dexterity save. Okay. To see, and, and we'll do this kind of a contested like group dexterity save to see if you can just get underfoot enough in trying to generate panic that you can kind of kerfuffle the group in that way. Uh, 21. Cool, they rolled like shite. <laughs> um, so yeah, you uh, you essentially just start causing chaos by like causing them to trip over sure. you and each other, um, which just sort of jumbles the group. And you, are you trying to like fully get hands on the clutch? Yeah, I, I, I want to see if I can like knock someone into her and make her let go of it enough that I can get it away from her. Let's see how good her grip is. It's not good. Yeah, you fully uh, trip the uh, very slick uh, elven man in the like 
way, way, way too tight fitted t-shirt under the blazer um, uh, directly into her and she drops it. Okay. Um, and she is caught in sort of this knot of people. You are small, so uh, give me a dex check to see if you can sweep it up before somebody kicks it out of the way. This die is rolling very well for me tonight. That is a 21. Okay, Ooh. yeah. And you just cleanly and easily dart in, swoop it, grab it. You have the clutch. Stuff it in, uh, in inside of my shirt and like worm my way back out of the, uh, the tangled knot that's going on. Uh, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Anybody else? I am going to try and leave the room. Sure. Uh, in an orderly fashion. <laughs> yeah, you can just go get and like the guards are like telling everybody to like you know please stay calm, line up. We don't we don't know if there's an emergency. We're going to proceed. Just follow to the next. Violet is going to point you down, you know, and like giving you directions from person to person. And I want to sneak into the bathroom. Sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> give me a stealth check. So the privy. Off to the privies with you. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, it's only 13. I think an inspiration. Yeah, let's yeah, do an inspiration. Yeah. yeah. Nice catch. And 15. Nice, nice round number. Uh, we'll just do it. It's not a round <laughs> number. What do you want? It's a five. It's a divisive. It's, 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 that is not what a round D &D number is. Round number. Yes, it is. <laughs> A round number is divisible by two. It's uh, no, it's around uh, what you needed to get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll give you that one. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You are able to to slip past, and there's honestly like you you managed to line yourself up behind a shrieking woman in a ball gown, and so <laughs> who takes up the width of like the three people that could normally fit through the door, and so you're able to sort of like pop out in the like overflow behind her, and then just kind of slip off. Uh, yeah. You totally make it to the bathroom. I'm gonna hide in there for a little bit. Yeah, go hang out in the bathroom. It's kind of peaceful in here. The sirens or the sirens aren't going off so much in the bathroom because it's such a small area, so it's mostly just the lights. So it's a little bit soothing in a weird way. <laughs> it's just not so loud. Quite like a sensory deprivation chamber almost. Oh. Uh, yeah, so. so you're just hanging out in the bathrooms. Invisible uh, Vlad is just hanging back and watching Clark. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, Clark has also disappeared into the shadows, not in the cool way that you did, but literally just like pressed himself up against the wall so that hopefully nobody noticed that he wasn't helping the other guards and is clearly like waiting for the room to clear so that he can try to resolve this situation. <laughs> he is he is absolutely just doing the like full, like up against <laughs> the wall, hoping nobody notices that he's there. Uh, can I Clark's clarify, great. did you say that you had somebody on the inside, but you didn't tell us who it was? He did tell me at least that there was. No, I did. I did mention Clark. Okay. He's the, he's but the... you didn't describe Clark. You said if anyone gives you a hat, gives us like all we got was us, the code word. Then we should give the code word. So, oh, okay. Vlad I did doesn't know. I think I did describe you him said as he the was a young security guard. Young insecure security guard. <laughs> yeah, no, young naive security guard. So. Okay. Can I deduce that this is Scorpion <laughs> Plus Scorpion guy, bus. the guy that I. Should um, say Scorpion Bus too. I was gonna say I feel like I should make your old perception check to see if you notice him, but that's just kind of unfair to you because I'm pretty sure his uh, stealth is nothing, because um, <laughs> uh, he is literally just pressed up against the wall like a cartoon yeah. character. Um, so uh, you, I mean, you don't know for sure, but based on what you were told by uh, by Stuart, I'm going to say that you. Are you're willing to make a confident guess if you, the player, are willing to make that confident guess? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like sidle up to Clark as though I don't really see him, <laughs> and I'm gonna go <clears throat> Scorpion Bus. Scorpion Bus. <laughs> I'm here to help with the problem. You know? Did you, did you see that kid? Yeah, little punk. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to sabotage the exhibit. I was talking to his mom. She's annoying as fuck. <sighs> I hate rich people. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently okay. he's trying to sabotage the exhibit. All right. He put something All over right. on the pedestal, and I need to get it out before the curator notices, and it ruins everything. <laughs> okay. Okay. But. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. We're gonna take a deep breath. And then you're gonna let it out. <sighs> and then you do it one more time. And then you're gonna let it out. 
good, great, great, great. You're gonna peel yourself away from the wall. Right. <laughs> and um, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna just go make sure that everybody can get out of the room, okay? All right. You could okay. Um, I, yeah, I, the pedestal. You, you gotta be really careful if you. Okay. Be careful if you touch it, cause it's it's weight sensitive. Uh -huh. If the stone gets moved, it 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 activates all the alarms and locks down the room. Okay. And <laughs> black with first, cause black in here. Oh, it's like Indiana Jones. <laughs> Do I hear that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, give me a perception. It was stage. It was stage. So oh, oh, it's like Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> You no, you absolutely hear it. If it's stages, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm willing to see. Uh, Clark <laughs> believes in ghosts um, and definitely <laughs> thinks that he's haunted. Now his eyes get huge, and he like literally does like the full Scooby Doo like spin around. Like, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Somebody's here. Somebody's here. What? Something's happened. <sighs> no, I didn't hear anything. I don't know what you're talking about. This poor child. I think we're cursed. We're going to break. We're him. not cursed. I think we're cursed. Is there a cursed gem in here? Is the gem cursed? No. No, no, no. That gem is not cursed. Clark, I need you to breathe in, then out. In, more, out. Okay, you're not cursed. Everything's fine. It's gonna be fine. I didn't hear anything. It's fine. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You're gonna, okay. I'm gonna you're get gonna, the lollipop. I'm gonna, gonna take get it off. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get everyone out, and then okay. I will find I will find uh, somebody, and I will tell them that I found that somebody, uh, uh, where do people, I'll tell them that one of the college kids lit a fire in the bathroom, and it set off the alarms, and right. uh, <laughs> we just have to reset the alarm. <laughs> that is probably the best idea I have heard all day. Really? Yeah. Really, truly. Okay. Good idea. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can, I can do, this. do this. I can do this. I believe in you. There was smoking in the bathroom. Yeah, those and, kids, they like to smoke in the bathroom. And they threw the cigarette in the trash can. Yeah, it was instead an of accident. flushing it down the toilet, which is what you're supposed to do when you're illegally smoking in the bathroom. Vlad's gonna- Yes, <laughs> exactly. Vlad's gonna cast message and whisper to Sloan, ask what happens if weight gets triggered. <laughs> okay, so while I'm taking off this lollipop, what, so what exactly happens? You said that the room locks down, right? Yeah, if, if the stone gets moved off of the pedestal without, uh, without it being deactivated, then the whole room locks down uh -huh. and the alarms go. I don't know how that's going to affect with the fire alarms also uh -huh. going, if it's a different alarm or if it's the same alarm system, uh -huh. but it does, it, it drops all of the security uh -huh. uh, doors on all of the exhibits. Uh huh. And then there's only one way out of the room, right? Correct. Okay, there's no other doors, nothing. I mean, there's there's like a there's like an access hatch for like maintenance and stuff, but I don't I don't do maintenance. So I don't know exactly where it is. Okay, all right. Well, you, that's good to know, just in case. Yeah. That we're still we're still accessible, and we'll, yeah. we'll, we're we're gonna figure it out. I mean, it's, gonna be it's okay. a historic building, and there's been a lot of complaints about the like fire trap nature of everything right. here. But they refuse to do the renovations because they're afraid it'll. Historic right. integrity. I, the curator gives this talk a lot. Um, right. Okay, but just yeah, okay. just uh, it. I don't. I don't. If the lollipop didn't trigger it when it went on, it shouldn't trigger when it goes. But just be careful in case you like okay. knock it. Don't don't knock it over. Don't knock it over. I don't know how fragile it is. Uh, the, the the stone. The stone. Oh. I don't know how fragile. If oh. Okay. What if we what if we touch it and it just bursts Clark, in bursts Clark, into dust? Clark, deep breath in. No 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 reset. Do it again. Deep breath in. <gasps> And then you go out. You gotta get the air out, like okay. in, and then out. Good. Okay. 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 Go. Right. Right. Help people. Uh, he uh, skitters off to go help people. I feel like Vlad probably heard all of that. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna go up the attic. <laughs> Because, I mean, it's my plan is, like, uh, you know, yeah. get around the corner and then yeah, no, wait you, for my time to get up to the attic. Yeah, no, you you get around the corner, you wait a few minutes, nobody's come in, nobody's gone out, alarm is still going off, you pop out, no one's in this hallway. Yeah, you head up to the attic. Um, the attic has been rearranged. It looks like they came up here 
to get some of those like table claws and things that you found earlier. So stuff has been a little bit shuffled around um, your stuff. Did you hide all your stuff in one place or did you kind of like- Pretty much one place. Okay. Um, so it is, it seems to all still be there, but there's definitely that brief minute of like, wait, I put it on the third crate in and now there's no three crates in a row. Shit. Like where you have to go find it, but you're able to gather up your, uh, you've got your daggers, your rope, your ball bearings, anything else from your burglar's kit, mm -hmm. any other tools, um, all stashed up there. Then I'm gonna message Risha. Risha, it's Stu it's Stuart. I wouldn't have ever guessed. Anyway, I'm in the attic. Uh, I'm gonna hang out here and see what happens. You can respond to this message. <laughs> After the tone. <laughs> Please, and none of you are playing T-Flicks even. <laughs> oh, God, everybody. Uh, uh, I will respond as I'm like worming my way out of the, the uh, clusterfuck that I have created. <laughs> um, uh, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to get up into the rafters of this place and lurk. Uh... Cool. Which is in fact my plan, because uh, as, as a Hadozi, I have a climbing speed that's equal to my uh, walking speed. Oh, yes, you so do. Nice. So I'm gonna try in the confusion to uh, get up the, the the wall using the, the, the handholds that I noticed earlier and try to get into one of those little, those little crevices that I saw before to hide. Cool. Um, as you start heading that way, uh, are you moving at full speed? Like, to get over to... I think I'm trying to be more stealthy, so I'm I'm moving at I, I think it's half speed as a rule. Cool. Um, yeah, you uh, uh, walk over that way and you feel a hand clap down on your shoulder. I'll look up. Uh, you recognize uh, one of the besuited dudes from the cluster, um, who puts a hand on his shoulder and looks down and goes, "Excuse me, did you pick up the curator's purse? She said she saw you pick up her purse. Her purse? What purse?" The purse in your hand. I stuffed it into my shirt. Okay. The purse in your shirt. <laughs> oh, this purse. Sorry, yes. I, 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 I saw I saw it get dropped. Wasn't sure where it belonged. Yes, that would be the curators. I'll take that. Thank you. Pass it back over. Great big innocent eyes. Uh, he kind of gives you a look and is and then just kind of like shrugs it off and heads back to join the cluster. I'll I'll watch and like look at the curator. She is making dead eye contact with you. Hmm because when you roll a nat 20 on your perception check, you see what happens. Ah, that was that smile. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, love that. Okay. Um, it's the only one I'm gonna get this game. Probably. So. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I rolled one earlier, which is why Clark pulled the fire alarm. <laughs> yes, very nice. <laughs> All right, well, knowing now that she's watching me, uh, and change of, change of plans, I don't think I wanna draw more attention to what I'm up to. Um, so I'm going to make my way out with the rest of the clusterfuck. Honestly, deliberately tripping people into other in, uh, into other people because I'm annoyed. Uh, that's fine. You actually get a little bit of benefit uh, if you do want to continue on your original route. You get a distraction because we just got a Mad Bird streams raid. Hey! Uh, oh, oh my friend. goodness! Who's following in the established yeah, means something's happening in game. Uh, get in game. Uh, that obnoxious woman with the befeathered dress. Her dress. Uh, it turns out it's actually got live birds in it. Oh. And they suddenly like freak out. And there is this sudden flurry of birds <laughs> that appears in the midst of the chaos. And They're mad causing too. just <laughs> more screaming as all these little like twittering birds are yeah. here. And finally her husband animates for like the first time as he like, and he starts literally like reaching up and trying to just like grab birds out of the <laughs> air. Um, He's not the brightest. Um, <laughs> this creates an additional amount of chaos, which you may use as cover if you would like to sort of. As long as the curator get... stops looking. Oh, at everyone me. immediately <laughs> turns to look at what new fresh hell has occurred. Brilliant. Over here. Yeah, I, I do want to uh, do that then because I do want to get up into yeah. a hiding place in this room. If uh, I can. Go ahead and give me uh, an athletics or acrobatics check just to see how well you do. Uh, That'll I'll... be acrobatics for me. Ah, now it starts rolling lower. That makes 
makes sense. Uh, that is a 13. Yeah. It takes you a second to, like, basically everything is rubbed smooth down mm -hmm. below, so it's harder for you to find your grip. But once you do, <laughs> you're able to just skitter right up and, like, perch on the, you know, the, like, decorative edge of the column around the top and kind of find a way to peer down. Um, is anybody over by the cluster? Not really. You guys are over on the other side. Um, Sloan, I will say just because you kind of have an eye and ear attuned because you've been talking to these folks for so long, you look over and you see the world's most unbothered 10-year-old <laughs> look up into the air, fingers in mouth, whistle, all of the birds immediately just come down and land on his shoulders. Oh, he looks so grump, but they all just immediately like land him all <laughs> down. This is what's he his just face from Encanto. <laughs> sighs and he proceeds to follow his parents out of the building. Awesome. I, I I didn't mean for this ten year old to become the kid from the beginning of the first Kill Bill movie, <laughs> but apparently Aww. this is. Oh boy. Oh my god. Anyway. I love it. Uh, great. You're hidden up in the rafters. You're hanging out in the attic. Uh, Sloan and Vlad, you guys are over by the stone. At this point, pretty much everyone has moved toward the door. Like, the last people who are kind of heading out are the curator and her entourage. Um, the curator seems to have been moving the slowest and is kind of resisting this, but her entourage is absolutely, like, bound and determined to defend her safety and make sure that she is properly removed from this building in case there is a real threat and she is... Uh, unfortunately not going to be able to get out of that politely. <laughs> At least not till she gets out of this room. <laughs> so. So how heavy do you think this... Yo, yo, oh, right here. Uh, where? Where? Uh, where? Oh, okay. It, it don't matter, but uh, how heavy we think this uh, murder egg is? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. How heavy do we think the murder egg is? Uh, you have good knowledge of gemstone. Looking at it, again, it's not a gemstone, it's an egg. Ten pounds? Ten pounds, give or take. <laughs> okay, what do, what do we have in bag that is ten pounds? <laughs> <laughs> what we have in bag that's ten pounds? <laughs> um, uh, give me, give me a raw intelligence check, Sloan. <laughs> Please be nice. Please. <laughs> No, you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. It's an eight. Do we have any more? We have, I have a bit. We have one more. Mm -hmm. Let's use it. Is it? Yeah. Right. Okay, get bit. I've caught all three tonight. Yes. I'm very proud of myself. No so cup. Oh, yeah. What is that? Uh, eight plus six is 14. Thank you. 14. 14. Uh, you cast a spell magic on this thing. I can thing. back from way over here. <laughs> you cast a spell magic on this thing earlier. If this is a pressure plate that activates uh, a magical lock and a magical alarm, it's probably not going to activate anything. Probably doesn't matter. I think we can just take it. Oh. Wait, hold on, I can't see it. I think we can just take it. I think, oh, okay, I think okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah? Oh, I'm gonna like peek over the edge of of, of the of the, the edifice I and hope. like message down. I'm up here. Wait, 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 wait. I hope you're alright. Wait, 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 wait. I have some sort of cloth in here or something. I'm sure. A clock. No cloth. Yeah. Cloth. A clock is funnier though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I am an artist. There's a lot of stuff in this briefcase. What do you uh, need cloth for? I don't know. I just don't want you to touch it and then like get sick or something. Oh, okay. Can I hold? It? Are you holding on? Vlad, take that as soon as. Um, There's also a bunch of tablecloths on as, this little cup. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Give me that. That's Vlad, my favorite Vlad stuff. Vlad will do the. Yes. <laughs> yes. Give me a uh, dex with advantage. Uh, while you're rolling that, uh, Stuart, up in the attic, you suddenly hear the rousing uh, school chant coming from outside. It sounds like. Uh, Extreme Night Frisbee is on Ooh. because Artford Studios just raided yeah. us with hey, a massive yeah. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, oh, oh. Well, um, in that case, I'm going to head up to the skylight and see if I can open it, or at least unlock it. Uh, so I can look out and see these fantastic raiders that are out there. Yeah, it sounds like a school raid is happening. Yeah, There's going to yeah. be some extreme frisbee. Hang on, I actually... The skylight is one thing that I have actual information about it. I just have hey, to find it. Yeah. 
I just have a fun thing. Um. Uh, yeah, you do find it. Uh, there's a lock on the inside. You're pretty sure you can probably just pick it. Give me uh, that thieves tool check. Yeah. Fourteen. Hmm. Uh, all right. Uh, and now I'm going to need a uh, an athletics check to give it kind of that good shove uh, to get it open. No. Well, that's boring. Um, you are oh. sure that it is unlocked. <laughs> it is also very rusty because oh, it's sorry. the roof. And so it's going to probably take you a minute or maybe a tool to like kind of get it wedged open. And you're not sure you're going to be able to open the whole thing, but it is unlocked. This is definitely something you can, you can press your face up to the glass and see the, uh, the fairy fire getting shot off into the <laughs> air and all the little dancing lights as these uh, college kids are like raging out on the quad. Perfect. Yeah. I'm going to just find a hiding spot in case I hear a guard coming up or something. Just Absolutely. So ready to hide. Yeah, you, you tuck yourself behind some crates and you kind of put your hand down and you feel a coil of rope and you pick it up and you look and you realize this looks a lot like your rope, but you already picked up your rope. Well, just put it so in the bag. I got put it in. Put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. Put it on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rival con artist. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Definitely uh, already grabbed rope. Huh. Huh. Um, Vlad rolled thirteen on decks. Thirteen on decks. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> with advantage. Yeah. No. Oh. With advantage. Yeah. You um. You lose a couple glasses on the way, but you get it out from the plates. So okay, <clears throat> and if I'm reading invisibility right, because anything I'm wearing or carrying becomes invisible, even if I. Yeah. That. So this cloth I... vanishes. Like for for from your perspective, the edge of the cloth mm -hmm. lifts up and then just whoops into nothingness as a couple of glasses like spill and shatter off, and the <gasps> plates kind of rattle and land. That was almost perfect. Oh. Okay, yeah, there was there was a gust of wind in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we have also been blessed with another bit from Duke Fleeg to help with the chat. Thank you, Grace. Who wants oh, yes, yes, to catch. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm glad that I have cloth now so I can pick up murder aid now. <laughs> You know, if you had a murder bunny in one hand. <laughs> I know! That's, why is it wearing you? Oh no. Uh, you feel a little tug at your pant leg. Oh. The bunny can find you when you're invisible. I didn't know. You don't see the bunny, but you feel the bunny. Oh, oh, we are like, we are like cousins. Okay. Um. You feel something uh, warm nuzzling your leg. Oh, okay. And I cannot make you sacrifice. You're too cute. Okay. <laughs> so it's like Vlad, holding the briefcase open. Yeah, Vlad, just like waiting to receive. Vlad will um, use the cloth to pick up the egg. Uh, Quickly. You pick up the egg and nothing happens because you dispelled the magic, so it doesn't activate. Hey! You are right. You are so um, smart. You. I guess I shouldn't say nothing happens. You hear the click of the mechanical part, like the the actual mechanic of the pressure plate. <laughs> But there is no effect. Okay. I hey, put hey. In, I put the stone the disappears. Yeah. And then goes in the briefcase. You close it up. Congratulations, you have achieved a murder egg. Okay, so we make mm. escape now. I'm gonna message uh, folks and say, egg has been attained and we should get the fuck out of here mm. now. Um, yeah. At the exit, uh, Stuart, you almost missed the message because there's another cheer as a second <laughs> raiding party oh joins the God. first raiding party oh. as, as wow. Nirvala arrives to join the extreme Night Frisbee match. Hey. Hello. Hello and welcome. welcome to Night Frisbee. I need for being a distraction. <laughs> teams. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I will respond to the message. Uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the, I'm, uh, sorry, this is Stuart. I'm in the <laughs> attic. Um, uh, the, the skylight's unlocked but it's too strong for me to push open. I'm going um, back to my uh, undercover voice. Thank you. Is there someone up there with you where you need to be in an undercover voice? <laughs> <laughs> Just the nagging voice of his mother. Okay, silence. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, are you ready to leave? Yeah, let's go, let's go. Is everyone okay. at the exit? I'm right. 
Um, I'm gonna say that you're, you're perched on whatever. I will say that you basically have seen Sloane, like, doing some talking and then, like, pull out the briefcase, open the briefcase, the stone vanishes, mm -hmm. goes in, and then you get the message of okay. Sever Jeeved. So, you watch this weird little dance happening of, like, the vanishing tablecloth and the vanishing stone, and Love then... It. Yeah. confirmation for with, with the damage that is happened that, that has happened up in this higher area do i think i'd be able to like get through a, a, a part of the wall that is more disrepaired than the others and like scamper around to get up into the attic um you're not positive because just because you're not as familiar with the layout sure like based on the thing like you might punch up and be able to like kind of get essentially like you know ratting the walls up into stuff and, and find another opening, or you might just be uh, lost in the walls of the museum forever. Eh, yeah, there's um, worse fates. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see Ren again in 17 weeks when we come back to the museum and discover their corpse. Yeah, pretty um, much. Um, is there anyone else still in the room with us? At this point, it is just uh, you. It is just you three. Um, you wow. know that Clark is probably not far away because he's probably going to run back in mm -hmm. as soon as he sells, so, hopefully sells oh his shit. lie about the smoking in the bathroom. <laughs> oh shit, I feel so bad for um, Clark. <laughs> to check in on things. So, um, so I will... <laughs> Apparently, I've achieved my stand goal. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten out of this chair in hours. Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's relatively your height. It's, it's a tall chair. It is a tall it's chair. It's a tall chair. I think it counts as standing. Anyway, so you know Clark will probably be back in okay. any second if he manages to sell this thing. And if he doesn't sell this lie, he might be accompanied. So. Okay. Um, um, we see Risha up there? I'll kind of like lean down and wave. Like, I'm not hiding from you guys. I was just saying, uh, and are you indicating that you're gonna find a different way out? No, um, with 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 the knowledge that it's just us in here, I'm gonna uh, reach up and tug at the at the earring that's drooping one ear down, <clears throat> and and be like, "Do you need me to fly in someone's face?" Ah, uh, that might be a good idea. We gotta get out of here. You know, Clark, the guy that was like, man, he was like, <laughs> and I was like, breathe. And that guy, you know, <laughs> yeah, that one. Just like, you know, jump on his face and then we'll get out of here. Okay. Gladys. Then I will like perch up on the edge of this. Of, of this. You can you can make your way from the part of the room that you're in, like make your way to like get right, I'll say like kind of over mm -hmm. uh, where the entrance actually is to launch yourself onto whatever poor unsuspecting Clark walks through the door. <laughs> Yeah, and, when, and, when, and whenever Clark does come unsuspectingly walking through, I do want to uh, Hadozi glide into his face okay. and scare the fuck out of him. I think I'm going to be like on the opposite side of the door, so when that happens, I can just be like, oh, oh god, oh, and then just leave the room. <laughs> yeah, and Vlad, you are still invisible. I'm invisible. You not taken any I'm going to wait until so the last minute hang to out. make sure my, com like, yeah. all my, col my, my colleagues are all out All right. Um... We're going to do this in classical Alondra fashion. Uh, Ren, since you've got the action, the, the first action essentially ready to go, I'm going to have you call high or low. Mm -hmm. One through ten. Uh, actually, yeah, eleven through twenty, because that's the preferred outcome you would like. Clark comes through the door, and you can execute this plan. One through ten, somebody else comes through the door first. Okay. Set this so that you can look and see. So you know I'm being honest. 20. Once again, Clark does exactly what you hope he'll do. <laughs> Helps you out. Clark, our boy, oh God. comes busting back in and uh, uh, and he's like, I think it worked, and just <laughs> immediately <laughs> takes the things and falls the face. Yeah, takes like a 45 pound <laughs> monkey to the face. <laughs> <laughs> knocks him back into the door frame. I'm gonna say this is probably an angle. So like knocks him back into the door frame, fully knocks the wind out of him. He does not see it coming. He does not know who or what you oh, are. No. As he's like, oh, oh. Um, and I'm, also, <laughs> I'm also doing like that high-pitched monkey scream. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. Uh, cool. Oh my god, it's the ghost! Oh shit! Oh god, Clark! Oh. I'm just trying to like, I'm just trying to like get. Risha off it. Uh, scrabble, 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 claws. Uh, <laughs> you see. Yeah, this is the 
Uh, you see, and, and Vladu, you see as this kerfuffle happens, but you suddenly see uh, from one of the other cocktail tables, uh, one of the other um, tablecloths sort of starts like moving, 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 like scooting itself out from under. And then you suddenly see, uh, you hear like tunk as Hyacinth kicks their feet uh, to become visible again, ganks this tablecloth off, and like pulls it over them and scampers out the room past them. So it's just this big flowing tablecloth oh, that like wow. scares past <laughs> the cable. <laughs> Um, Clark's eyes are huge. His mouth is open, but no sound is coming out. He is, like, stunned. And in this whole kerfuffle, uh, you are able to extricate yourself and just follow the prancing yeah. tablecloth. Pull uh, like, rabbit kick off his chest and yeah. glide into the room. <laughs> yeah, you're so, out. Is everyone out? Uh, everyone's out of this room, and as you guys are making it into the next room, you, you can see and report back that pretty much everyone else has, like, made it down the stairs. Mm -hmm. It looks like the guards are mostly kind of ushering everyone down the stairs, so there might be a few people kind of at the top of the stairs, but no one's looking your direction. Attic. Clark, attic. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah. But Clark is still in there? Clark is the only one left so, in the room. Before he can turn around and as Vlad's in the doorway, Vlad will cast Minor Illusion to make it look like the egg is still on the pedestal. <gasps> and then book it, because that only lasts for one minute. <laughs> oh my god! Amazing. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you cast that. Um, and then, uh, do you want to have spun out immediately after uh, Risha and be out before Vlad? Or do you want to wait until... I'm... Uh, I'm gonna kind of like I'm I'm waiting for Vlad. I'm kind of dusting yeah, off Clark. You're, you're just kind like, of doing the awkward like it's the dust, but that's also the spin to keep him disoriented. Yeah, yeah, like deep breaths. You're doing okay. It's all right. I got it off. It's fine. Yeah. And then I'll wait for Vlad to come out, and then I'll I'll leave. Yeah. You suddenly see where there wasn't stone out of the corner. You just see a stone like appear. Mm -hmm. Um, you know magic. Like, you know, you know what magic is. And you're just like, all right, that's my cue. Magic is there. Uh -huh. and then I'll, uh, One last uh, pinata spin and yeah. just disappear out yeah. the door. Poor child. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he, he wanted to work for the watch. He's got to be prepared. Oh, except sure. I just realized that, <laughs> that I do that around the corner because uh, that just Here's a question. That's a cantrip. Does that count as casting oh, a spell? Yeah, right. Probably not. I don't. I don't. I don't actually so. know what the ruling on that is. If, if invisibility drops when you cast a cantrip, I have traditionally always counted. I have no idea. That, like, that is entirely GM well, discretion. Have I? Because I have I allowed people to cast message and remain invisible. That's mm. the question. You know, <laughs> if I already did cast message. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I'm gonna say for the purposes of of this that it kind of is six of one, half dozen of the other, because if you're gonna cast it around the corner anyway, it doesn't really matter. There we go. Um, yeah. We don't have to adjudicate this now. We nope. can look it up in the after dark yeah. if we want. Yeah. I did cast message though. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> that's, invisible. that's a good point. Because now that I think of it, I don't remember how I've handled this in past games. So that's a good question. Um, nonetheless. It is a kind of a spell. Uh, nonetheless, you guys make your way out, uh, and you're all headed for the attic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where Stuart is? Mm -hmm. uh, Stuart, uh, you uh, you haven't like clo locked or barricaded the attic door in anyway, nope. have you? Nope. Okay, cool. Uh, so the attic door opens, and you see a tablecloth run into the room, <laughs> <laughs> followed very shortly thereafter by the rest of your compatriots. Risha giggling in a very concerning way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think Vlad's not invisible anymore yeah. at this point. Yeah, that's silly. Uh, Yosha, I, I need help uh, opening the uh, the uh, the attic. Uh, can, can 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 I can I see the the the, the oh, for a second? Okay. Um, and and Rachel will reach and think crowbar, pull their crowbar out and hand it over. <laughs> Someone who's stronger than me, or at least heavier than I am. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I will assist if I can. I think we have two crowbars. Yeah. Right. Like, Alright, I'm gonna grab another crowbar and I'm gonna Sorry, help. I just had to look. I, I just wanted to peek yeah. and, and figure out which of you actually is the strongest uh, in the group here. Oh, uh, it's not me. Not me. <laughs> it, okay. It, it oh. is Vlad. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I will do it. I will do it. I human Vlad. I, will, I mean, you I've guys... I've got that normal human strength. <laughs> With all of you working together, like, eventually you'll get this. But yeah, Vlad, uh, go ahead and give me, uh, give me a, an athletics roll. Okay. 
Oh no! no. Um, you can do it with advantage because you are, I'm assuming, getting help yeah, from the Yeah, I think Stuart's helping. And the least from the crowbar. Oh yeah, okay, 21. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 21 will definitely do it. Yes. Yeah, it, it, it takes you a second to get the crowbar seated and then you're able to sort of like crack that like rust seal and the like weird painted over portion and just push it open to the raucous roars of whatever campus shenanigans are going on down below. Um, this skylight uh, opens up. It's sort of one of those like s slightly triangular situations. And then it's got a little bit of like uh, a roof area that you can kind of step out onto. Not like a true like widow's walk or anything, but like an area that kind of juts out and then slopes more gradually before it goes down to the next tier. So you've got s some space to be able to kind of move out onto the roof and assess your surroundings a little bit. Um, from there, there's a there's a bit of a drop down to um, a flatter topped building. Picture something like, you know, almost like the armory building in San Francisco or City Hall, where you've got that like central basilica sort of area, and then you've got flat before you get to the rest of the drop off, so. Right, where are we supposed to take this thing? Yeah, back to the tap water. Mm -hmm. right? Yes, back, yes. If we can get yes. down from here. I mean, oh, I can get down. I, have right. I, I, can, I can get down from here as 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 uh, Risha displays uh, uh, arm flaps. Okay, well that's <laughs> amazing. Uh, um, we have plenty of rope. I actually found some extra rope up here. Oh great! You found what? Awesome rope. You found what? You found rope up there. Yes. Huh. My rope plus other rope. Is it rope of a similar quality of yours? Uh, I think so. It's way better. Way better. Silk rope. Yes. Hells. Everyone regretting not uh, uh, looting the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. No, I'm not. But you know, there's a lot of expensive shit in there. I'm sure someone else was too was casing the joint. For other reasons, probably than the friggin' egg. Hopefully. Uh, what time is it? Um. <laughs> It's like just about 8 p.m. at this point. Oh, we have plenty oh, of time. So much plenty time. of time. We should just like go. <laughs> should we do the the what, extreme frisbee for a little bit and then and let's, then we'll go the, back to the tavern? The, cura the curator definitely made me. Okay. So All let's right. get right. the fuck out of here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 Um, as uh, Risha says, let's GTFO. You do hear the klaxons go off, meaning that someone has turned off the alarm. We need to get out of here now. Yeah, okay, right now. Yeah, let's get out. Yep, right now. Okay, Stuart, do you know how to tie rope? Of course. Okay, can you do I, that? I think I can climb. Uh, <laughs> That's great. I'm gonna uh, climb. Vlad, uh, yeah, you just uh, <laughs> head down. Test, yeah, you 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 <laughs> test and start going down like maybe the like slightly slopey part, and mm -hmm. yeah, you're just clinging to it, super easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hold on to totally normal human. <laughs> yeah, um, I, 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 this is this is really strange, but I feel like maybe they're not a totally normal human. I kind of get that feeling as well. Yes. I what are you guys know. talking about? No, no, nothing, no, 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 nothing, no, nothing, Vlad. No, you, you're good. You're good. Do, do, do you want me to take the briefcase and like glide down and meet y'all? Yeah, sure. That's fine. It's only got my most precious things in it. It's cool. You, you know a lot you. of the people that I do. So, That's true. I can get pity on your ass. <laughs> I, all right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. It. And and, and Rachel, actually, like, hold, hold up a pinky, but pinky swear. Pinky swear with my pinky ring. <laughs> it's just like. The most Love the idea word. that you get that PD is also secretly the underworld assassin because <laughs> underworld folks. That like PD is a whole service guy. It's like Kaiser Soze, you know? yeah. It's yeah. just a name. Yeah. Yeah. It's PD. Yeah. It's just, just PD. So I, I, I know I, a guy. <laughs> I will hold onto the briefcase with with my um, with with my feet claws and then just like glide down. <laughs> yeah, your prehensile toes. Yes. Let's go with that. Um, yeah, you. Grip, I'm tired. <laughs> you grip on uh, with your toes and you uh, wing out like a you know glider squirrel style, and you just sort of like bop your way down. There's some you know ornamental like kind of gargoyle things and some pedestals or. Um, uh, pillar tops and stuff that you can kind of like bounce between mm -hmm. so you don't have to do like the full straight to the ground because yeah. momentum. Yeah. Um, 
And, yeah. it, and when I get down, I'll find somewhere to hide and wait for them. Oh yeah, you're not super worried about hiding because you can just kind of fade into the shadows because the raucous like <laughs> shenanigans of the whatever like rush week is happening or whatever on campus. <laughs> Fully garnering all of the attention. I'm, I'm just waiting uh, for the football team to show up at this point. Yeah, we're um, we're saying that you guys have come down the back side of the museum since everyone would have been evacuating yeah. to the front. Oh yes. Um, but yeah, uh, Vlad, you are easily able to just like head first, just like crawl down <laughs> the wall if you so choose, or you yeah. can back down, whatever you prefer. No, yeah, <laughs> it'll be the creepy head first. <laughs> Yeah, like, climbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this how everybody climbs down buildings? I yeah. am for I, uh, I think that math uh, equals sure. something. Yeah, I don't know quite. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but it's just a little weird, you know. But who's not a little weird? We. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. Happy monkey chitters <laughs> gliding yeah. down the I assume Vlad like catches up with Risha oh, yeah. pretty quickly. So maybe we do extreme frisbee while we wait for our slow people. <laughs> <laughs> slow, just, aren't they? Yeah. No, I, I, and and Risha's kind of like protectively down. huddled around the, the briefcase. I don't want those college kids to get this. They're all assholes. <laughs> uh, Slowly climb down this yeah. rope yeah. delicately. <laughs> Sweet baby. Just, uh, yeah, taking your time. Since we have two lengths of rope, gonna yes. just, you know, make it so that it's easy to yank it all down when we're done. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, yeah. You, can, yeah you can easily yeah. swift rig it and then be able to just be like, unhook and... I imagine why there's a uh, climbing bladder will go up. You guys need help? <laughs> <laughs> no, totally okay. fine. Okay. I'm See totally that. fine, I got this. It's gonna be fine. Ow, they'll, they'll do that multiple times. Are you sure? No, okay. Well, okay. Okay. No, oh, no. Okay. no, it's fine. I just, I'm gonna have rope burn later and then that's gonna negatively affect my work and then I'm gonna go out of business and then it's just gonna be horrible. That does not sound fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Uh, you're, you're so worked up that you're going on like this for like a good minute before you realize your feet are actually on the ground and you're like, <laughs> just kind of actually, like you get to the end of the rope and you realize you're standing. I'm at the end of my rope! <laughs> <laughs> um, you have all made it successfully to the ground. You are on the back side of the museum. Right. Tavern? Tavern. 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 Yeah. And I'll, I'll actually like, come on, I, I know some secret ways. Oh. Um, where did where Hyacinth go? Oh, I'm uh, not worried about Hyacinth. <laughs> uh, you're not, sh no. You're not sure how Hyacinth got down, but Hyacinth is just like at your feet, running along with you guys when you all head off to the tower. Just oh. kind of is there. Cool. <laughs> Dope. Uh, you all make cool, it cool, back cool, cool. to the tavern. The tavern's a little busier than when you were in. You know, it's like 8 p.m. now. There's a handful of tables that are taken up. There is one table that is full of about eight uh, people wearing red robes with the ho hoods like fully like pulled up, like hiding their faces. Whatever, they're all like clustered over in the corner with a giant jug of it looks like milk in the center of the table and like glasses and and like food and then they've got some like papers and books and things spread out. Mm. So you're not sure if this is like a cult meeting or a study group. <laughs> or yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My same difference. You know, the golden octagon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so gross. They're over there. Um, there's uh, a couple tables of just like fairly normal looking like college kids on a Monday night, um, grabbing some dinner, having some drinks. Um, there's uh, the private room in the back uh, has the door closed with a sign that says, you know, uh, reserved till 930 and then like a wait list underneath that has uh, three lines filled in on it. Um, and uh, Dave is standing behind the bar whistling a tune um, and just doing like tidy up, cutting garnishes, preparing for whatever sort of uh, post rush rush is going to inevitably happen. Um, sees you guys, waves, kind of like motions to the side of the, like the like four seats on the side of the bar, um, starts pouring drinks preemptively uh, as you all roll up. Boing, boing. <laughs> Hey, so, uh, how, how's it, sh who, who should I be calling for you? Uh, what's the bucket? Professor. Yeah, Dr. Doctor. Dr. Cassie Daniel. Oh, doc, okay, yeah, I will, uh. Priscilla, will. maybe, if you got her number? Uh, I do have her number. Uh, you want me to call just the doctor, or you want me to call both of them? 
Yeah. Uh, we, we need to get paid. Yeah, so. we need to get yeah. paid. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no skin off my nose. Uh, y'all are on the company tab, so I get paid regardless. Wow. Yeah. Here you go, here you go. Here. Uh, slings out uh, three ales, one uh, wine. Looks like wine to the rest of you. Oh, I love uh, this thick wine. Thank yeah. Dave. It's the thickest I got. Dave. You're my guy. Okay. Um, and then uh, a bowl of something that looks very similar to what's in Vlad's glass is mm. set on the table, and the rabbit jumps straight from the floor onto the bar and just buries their face in it. And Vlad just gives a little poop, poop. Yeah. You have to show me how you do that jump. That was very cool. Uh, the rabbit comes <clears throat> up, like dripping red, smiles at you, goes back into the bowl. Nope, still unnerving. <laughs> yeah, it's real unsettling. Oh, Has a lot of teeth, that for sure. Stuart's yeah. gonna go and uh, change out of these formal wear. Yeah. Um, the bathrooms here are nowhere near as nice as the ones in the museum, but they are functional and the stalls are private, so you are easily able to go change. Do you want to look for drugs while you're there? Do it! <laughs> this is a fair the the tank? Yeah. <laughs> sure, give me an investigation check. <laughs> 16. 16. Uh, there's some coke in there if you want. Oh. Like a dime bag. <laughs> I <be> coke. <laughs> You know, Dungeons and Dragons cocaine. Who knows what it'll do? Huh. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk out and just toss it on the, <laughs> onto the table with the the red robe guys and be like, enjoy the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. One of the one of the just sort of you still can't see any face. Just sort of turns toward you, just look, and you just and, and then just lifts up a hand for the fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> Swipes it, palms it, continues talking. I'm gonna start taking stuff out that belongs to other people and giving it back, like the <laughs> staff oh, okay, and the daggers. daggers and all of that. Yeah, sorting through. Re retrieve my flasks to get mm -hmm, in my shirt. Mm -hmm. um, uh, about 15, 20 minutes passes, and a very frazzled, bloodshot eyed uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Daniel comes like rushing in, like just unceremoniously, like the door like bursts open. She comes rushing in, runs straight up to the bar. It's just like, you got it? Yes, you finished books? Yes. Oh, well, <laughs> you sped up a lot. <laughs> you made a lot of progress this last time. Huh? Okay. Are you sure? Because uh, that math doesn't check out. 37% of 50%? Two hours? Huh? What? That's not how math works at all. I'll give you that math. Okay, well, we have murder egg. Yes, okay, we should, um, uh, we should, uh, um, do you want to come to my office and drop it off, or should I just take it? I can just take the briefcase and drop it and then bring. You guys can keep the briefcase as far as I'm concerned. I don't think I'm ever going to need it again. This is really, this is really. Um, but I can, well, I can then... take. Um, or I can just, I can just take, I can just take the. I mean, my mm. office, my office is like 10 minutes away, so it's not, it shouldn't affect. Let's, we're you really guys, early. Let's just go with so you. You're so early. Let's go to Like, the... I expected this to be a lot more dangerous. I'm going to be really honest. I thought that you guys were going to well, be a lot more dangerous. was not dangerous. I, are you sure? Because like people were getting incredibly sick. I really thought that this was going to be a whole race against time sort of situation where we were really trying to prevent the end of the world, and then you guys are just here like it's a totally normal Monday. Totally normal. You know what? I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be questioning totally it. Totally thank, normal. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for all of your help. Come back to my office. I have some really nice brandy that we could share to celebrate. Um, I like her. And, Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Dave, can you just let Priscilla know where we're at? She'll find you. She always does. Okay. Sure, you got the rabbit with you, right? Oh, yeah, chugging. Yeah. Chugging oh, the oh, drink. Oh, I'm, I'm in a race to chug all the drinks. <laughs> oh, he, I, he straight, I, like, he literally uh, throws you, like, four venti to go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Do not touch my beer, <laughs> sir. You want some beer? That's all right. <laughs> I have uh, wine. I have wine. Okay. Yeah. Are you are you gluten intolerant? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Gluten and garlic. No garlic, eh? 
Oh, that's really the most tragic of allergies. To totally normal human allergy. That sounds the like living in the house. Immersion the sunlight can climb down walls. It's totally normal. What? Totally normal. Okay, we go to office now. Um, you guys uh, wind your way. Um, uh, Doctor Daniel actually uh, takes you out of the tavern and basically like ducks you into one of the nearest buildings and just takes you through this like rabbit war and a sort of like back hallways that connect in the university. Uh, it opens up a really um, what would be a really lush, nice office, except that it is also like stacked to the brim with books and papers in that scary way that a professor who's been a professor too long uh, has an overstuffed office. Oh, I'm not going to find dead cats in here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I stopped keeping animals a long time ago. Do any of you have, uh, have, a, have a problem with, with bugs? I do have a, a couple of... Uh, of uh, hissing roaches in the tank over there, and you look over. It's like it's like the big, massive kind that you cannot lose. Um, uh, no, I mean they they just they just hang out over there. They're to they're totally fine. Um, uh, yeah, uh, here and you see that um, on her desk, she's like fully like cleared off her desk, and all you see are like three or four massive occult tomes. Um, you know the kind of the the creepy kind that have weird runes and stuff that are a little bit unnerving just to like see lying around casually. Um, and in the center is this large kind of glass case. Um, you didn't, you guys who saw it before didn't really like super notice what the, what the <clears throat> like cracks or the problems were, but it, it looks nice and clear and shiny right now. Um, she like flips open the top and goes, oh, can we just, um, if we could just- So, put some I see you did not take advice about making carton. I, I, you know, I was kind of under time pressure, so I figured uh, best to, re I really like the idea for the future. So if I get a chance, I might remake it into, into- Or if you find another murder egg. That's I mean, true. We're going to have to go back doesn't... to the dig site just in case. Because if there's, if it's an egg, then there could be more eggs. And if there's more eggs, we need to find them before anybody else finds them. Because if somebody else finds them, does, the curator doesn't know that you have this, right? Oh, no, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so, but she definitely noticed me trying to steal her purse. She was trying doing something with that clutch oh. purse that, that was very... Oh, sus. she probably just keeps her keys in there. She's very... Fidgety. She likes to have access to everything all the time. So, okay, so let's put in box. Yeah, um, if you put just uh, uh, we'll just um, take out the egg with the tablecloth. Uh, Christina takes it and does that real careful thing, where she sort of like kind of pulls the tablecloth off, but never quite, and then just like, <laughs> and you see as the lid closes that that like slight glow that the egg had just sort of like. And it just becomes kind of a, a filmy, slightly more opaque, still this weird green shade, but just kind of settles. Um, you really get a chance to kind of look at it for the first time as what it is. And it's just, it kind of just looks like a big green rock with slight like waves in the surface. Hmm. You can see why someone would think it is a gemstone. It's kind of pretty. But also it feels like it's got a weird vibe. Nice. Yeah. Huh. If I didn't know any better, I'd think it was a, it was a stone. Where are you going to put it? Oh, um, I am uh, going to keep it in this box forever. Uh huh. Uh, first of all, and uh, I am going to go to the uh, the dean and the board and I am going to make sure they know about my findings and about the dangers of what could have possibly happened and about the fact that the curator attempted to undermine both my uh, information and my position here at the university um, so that hopefully this doesn't happen again. And, you know, um, I'm not gonna tell them that I have the rock because obviously that would implicate me and we're trying not to go there. So I'm just gonna, point this out to them, and if they still don't listen to me because they think that my interest in the occult is crack, then uh, I'll just uh, let it go and hide this and get rid of it. And if they do listen to me, then maybe we can um, contact, I, I don't know, uh, Candlekeep and see if they've got some mages who could pick it up and study it or something, figure out what it is and deal with it. 
or uh, Blackstaff Tower, they've got a lot of uh, wizards who might know how to better deal with this sort of thing than uh, the university here. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, We're either going yeah. to study it or destroy it. I am definitely not planning on unleashing an unknown eldritch horror on the world. I kind of like the world as it is, more or less. All my stuff is here. If you are going to do it, uh, the museum during a gala would be the perfect place. Oh, yeah. Those people are terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I would feel bad for the college students, though. I mean, they're uh, terrible. They're, and they're but also they terrible, but they don't know any better. Eh, ah, they're kids. Okay. We gotta That's give true. them time to learn, right? And but. if they don't learn, then we unleash an Elder Tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah. that's 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 smart. You gotta give them a shot, right? Consequences. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> consequences. I mean, that's what you're in college oh, for. You learn gosh. the consequences oh, of your actions. Oh, when we get paid. Yeah, that's a really good. good oh, question. um, uh, well, as I said, uh, you can you can keep this, and she sort of like shoves the briefcase of holding. Um, I think that's Thank only you. fair. Um, I can give you the the twenty gold per as prop. At this point, and it is only at this point that she suddenly stops and looks and goes, weren't you taller before? It's custom. You really are a, an academic, just like deep in your in. Hi, I'm Risha. Uh, I, I oh. stepped in last minute. Hi, what happened? Uh, what happened to the... She had to go something about emergency, an emergency with her mom or something like that, so... Oh, okay. She just... Never met her, boom. no idea. So we got Risha. Sure. All right. Um, well, uh, I know Dave, so everyone knows Dave. So great. If Dave vouches for you, then that seems fine. Um, she will pay you each 20 gold and kind Sick. of awkwardly, uh, uh, kind of put another 20 gold and be like, I guess, um, I mean, if uh, everyone who participated, um, and so, uh, one of you, can, you, you can choose to hold that for Gemma or you can split it up amongst yourselves, uh, no, depending no, on what your on Gemma. inclinations are. Um, yeah, I will. I will. Yeah. Um, put it in the bag of holding. Uh, maybe you are so thankful because we did it so quickly that you have bonus for us. Um, I unfortunately don't have any means beyond this, so you're probably going to have to take that up with your any direct employers. Any maybe as gift. Ooh. Um, I've got some. I've got books. Do you have any interest? In <laughs> I really should have stolen that 12th century dwarf stone. I don't know why I didn't. Which one? You know when you when you go into the gem room and you like hang a left and it's like right there. It's real big. It's oh the the one with the with the black and silver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm, yep. I love to just stare at that one. It's so gorgeous. You get lost Sometimes in it. Sometimes it talks to me. It oh. talks to you. Does it not speak to you? What does it say? So we left another merger stone? I was kind of eh? loud in there, but like... Oh, maybe that's just me. Maybe well, I need Anyway, a um, really <laughs> can't thank you enough for all of your help. Um, I, um, I should probably get to uh, figuring out how to uh, either study or destroy this thing, because that's going to be a problem. Uh, if well, I'm not... sure we'll, we'll work out which one you do if the uh, this part of the university suddenly collapses into a black hole or something. Uh, yes. Yes. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Where Prefer it, not. Does it absorb in on itself? Uh, you just immediately see the scatterbrain as she kind of like drifts She's off. She's like, oh, gesture yes. everyone out of the room. Um, as you guys start to exit the room, uh, you feel the skittering of a very small rabbit like weave through your legs and go running down the hall uh, and jump up into the uh, waiting hand of Priscilla, who has just kind of turned the corner waves. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, Dave said I'd find you here. And here we are. Excellent. I presume everything went off more or less without a hitch? More or less. The world is still here. Yes. No, nothing actually exploded. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a refreshing change for the last job I did. So, um... <laughs> I, I, I am a, I'm a little worried about Clark. Clark, Clark, which one's Clark? Uh, he, uh, one of the guards. Um... Uh, do you Did... need him to not remember anything that happened, to remember everything that happened, or just get relocated? Well, that is a variety of options. I mean, uh, promote it, maybe? Uh, I what? think, uh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. Know. yeah. He just lost the egg. Well, I mean, that's not, not saying he lost the egg. Let's say that he valiantly rescued everyone from a potential fire. Yeah, yeah. He was, uh, he was vital in... Uh, access to private access to the egg. Uh, 
We, I will yeah. say. He we did assist him, us. Yeah. So we don't want him to... Get in trouble. Yeah. No, no adverse consequences as the result of your actions and deflect any missteps on his part. Can do. Understood. But also, maybe don't let him guard any of our stuff <laughs> because he's not good guard. He could use some training, I he think. He does try. Right. Maybe we can, you know, we're always on the lookout for, um, for, for folks whose hearts are in the right place. We can get the rest of the training there as long as they've got the right motivation. Maybe he's a good uh, recruitment candidate. Sorry, recruitment to what exactly? What did oh, I just do a job for? I apologize. Forgive me. I'm normally, uh, today was a bit of an emergency. You see how it is. Uh, she reaches into her pocket and pulls out a little business card and hands it to you. And on it is the emblem of a golden key. On the back side is simply the name Taiga, like the forest. Uh, welcome to the Golden Vault. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm sort of, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is not really, uh, this is more of a um, welcome. There's not really an optional part of this. You're part of the group now. Um, oh. But we pay well, uh, and we try not to bother you any more than we have to. Except for the dental plan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I, yes, I, we are working on the dental plan. It's very bad, but we uh, offer uh, unlimited mental health days, uh, so that's something. Um, okay, sure. I'm going, I'm, sure, I'm going to the islands. <laughs> The card I, I'll just build your pocket. Uh, that's uh, if you can find them, you can try to build them. Trust me, I've been doing it for months, still having to send things to my father and his lawyers to yell at them. Anyway, um, uh, you uh, were remarkably quick compared to most um, groups of your level that I've worked with before. So um, honestly, I'd really like to continue working with all of you. Um, the last batch of uh, recruits that they sent me to uh, observe. Um, didn't perform as well, and uh, was rather disappointing. But you all seem to have a great deal of promise and a great deal of willingness to um, do the right thing, even if it takes the wrong way of doing it. Oh, that's basically my motto. Hmm. Then you'll get along here just fine, I think. Um, uh, wasn't uh, really able to swing too much of a pay bonus, but I uh, was able to get uh, a little bit else. Um, so I've got these for you. She hands each of you a potion of greater healing, Ooh. a potion of climb. Climb? Yes, or a potion of climbing, I think is what it's. Just look at it kind of glumly. Well, I guess I can sell it to someone. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, <right? laughs> Sorry, I was accounting for um, people who don't climb. Yes, uh, again, my resources are um, ever-changing <laughs> uh, at the whims of my employers. Um, anyway, well, um, thank you all, and I hope to work with you again not too terribly soon, because that means more trouble, but um, sooner than later. Uh, if there's anything you ever need your own sort of assistance with, um, Use the calling card. The message will get to me. Make the, the, the card reappear out of my pocket. Look at it suspiciously. Uh, you see that little, like, glimmer of sheen through the gold on the key? Ah. Mm. You can't... Can you track us through these things? Uh, only if I actively have to. Hmm. Don't worry. We're not keeping tabs on you like that. I don't care what you get up to. Yes, I like to opt out the tracking. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, there's no opt out option. But if if we <laughs> need to find you, yes, <sighs> not like golden apple. <laughs> I'm gonna take out from my coat pocket. I'm gonna take the key out, the the card out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna open up the briefcase of holding, <laughs> and I'm gonna put it inside. <laughs> I'm gonna close it. Oh. Uh, give, give me an insight check. <laughs> okay. Boo. Insight. Seven. Um, you see Priscilla and Hyacinth's right eyes twitch in sync when you close the briefcase. <laughs> cool. But otherwise, no. But you're like, oh, they must have dust. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, well, um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, drinks are always on the house at the Scholar's Quill. Just tell Dave you're on our tab. Dave knows you're on our tab. I don't know why. Dave knows everything. I don't know how. Dave that... knows Petey. 
Dave knows everyone and everything, as far as I can tell. He's the closest to an omniscient being that I've ever met, which is saying something, because I've met quite a few uh, very powerful beings in my time. Um, but I guess that's what being a bartender gets you. Uh, thank you all for your service, and I shall see you again next time I see you. What is on your chin? As she suddenly looks down and sees the high school, like fully stained red from the chin down. Um, uh, Hyacinth just looks up at her and grins. She just shakes her head. Well, um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Happy Monday. Oh God, it's only Monday? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. I still have to go do paperwork. Have fun. Good night. She turns Good and night. heads down a hallway. Right. I'm off to drink some beer. I think I'm going to join you in that. Ooh, she said she had brandy. L looking back at the professor's door. The door is still open. She is like deeply reading one of these tomes. <laughs> Sneak in, find the brandy, grab the brandy. Oh yeah, it's sitting on a shelf. There's like there's like a bottle of brandy, a probably fake question mark skull with a candle in it, and then a bunch of like term papers from four years ago. Take the brandy, look at the skull, pat pat. Walk out. <laughs> um, and you are all able to head back to the uh, Scholar's Quill. Sa Sage's, Sage's Quill. Sage's Quill. I keep calling the it the Scholar's Quill. Quill. The, the Shady, shady Quill. Quill. The Shady Quill. The Sage's Quill. Uh, settle in at the bar. Uh, hang out with Dave. Enjoy the raucous choruses of uh, students flowing in and out of the bar uh, as the evening dissolves into the warm glow of beer and satisfaction in a job well done if underpaid we'll resolve that some other time i suppose <laughs> and that is the end of the Merkbar malevolence chapter one of keys for the gold pub congratulations you guys uh you broke the module Yay! as is tradition we do that. Time and scheduling. Time and scheduling. Um, we'll talk about this more in the After Dark for sure. Uh, if anybody was watching this hoping to learn how to run this module, uh, the best uh, advice I have is not the way I ran it. Um, <laughs> Uh, but let's uh, do a little bit of uh, brief scheduling before we get there. Um, Thank you for joining us. We have been Quests and Chaos. Uh, coming up for the rest of the week. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and there is a new episode of the Redacted Reports dropping mm -hmm. everywhere fine podcasts can be caught. Um, next week, uh, we've got two fun offerings for you. Next Tuesday, of course, we will be back with Keys from the Golden Vault with a new heist and a new crew because this uh this uh run we are doing a rotating table every time there's a new heist there's the possibility of new players so you'll have to tune in then and see who's coming to the table next week but before we get to tuesday next monday we are back with the arena of the five e's this week thomas will be taking on the table and the theme he has chosen is Members of the City Watch. So it is going to be martial classes, no full casters. We're going to get that info up, but if you are a patron uh, of Quests and Chaos, you can watch our Discord, where we will have all of the build information if you want to submit a character. And whether you're a patron or just a fan, please tune in next Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific, to watch the chaos occur as a random group of players plays a random group of uh, patron submitted characters. Um, thank you all so much. Follow us on all of our social media. Uh, leave reviews and comments if you're on a podcatcher or on the YouTube. It does, in fact, help us out. Um, tell people about us. I don't know. This is the usual yeah. spiel and yeah. it's not written down correctly and uh, it's late. We're going to go to an after dark and talk about how badly they broke this module. But thank you all so much for joining us and I, at least, will see you all next week. Good night.